Today we're going to talk about a concept in defense called keeping parity with dummy. Parity is spelled P-A-R-I-T-Y, parity. And kind of the sense of keeping parity with dummy is um, not allowing declarer to take tricks with small cards. That's what we'd like to do. We don't want declarer to take tricks with small cards in their long suits. So first we're going to look at the idea of parity when dummy is visible. So here we have in diamonds the ace, the king, the eight, and the five. And the nine, seven, four, three is in our hand. We have between our two hands eight diamonds. There's only 13 cards in each suit. So the, op so the opponent and my partner have five split between their two hands. Typically that would be three in one hand, two in the other. So after the ace and king are played, and a third diamond, the last diamond and dummy will be the eight. I have the nine, and I also have four diamonds. So even though I play the three to the ace, the four to the king, the seven when it's played a third time small, I'll still have the nine left in my hand. My nine can keep the eight from becoming a winner. So that's the whole idea of parity with dummy. I'm the only one, we call it guard. That means I'm the only one with enough length and strength in the suit to keep the eight from becoming a trick. Now, if you look at clubs, they have the ace, the queen, the ten, and the nine. I have the seven, the six, the four, and the two. Even though I also have length in clubs with dummy, I don't have a club high enough in my hand to keep the ten of clubs from becoming a trick. So that's not a suit that I have to guard. I don't have a card that might um, create a situation where one of the smaller cards can't win. So in terms, what does this mean in terms of playing the hand at? It means when Declare starts to play a long suit, or play any suit that I cannot follow suit, it's fine if I discard clubs. I can't do anything with those clubs anyway. They will never win a trick. But what I can't do is discard the diamond, because I'm the only one that can keep the eight of diamonds from taking a trick. Now, it's pretty easy when you're looking at dummy to see how that works. But you also have to worry about keeping parity with declarer. And usually you're not looking at any of declarer's cards, unless they happen to drop them all on the table. So you have to infer whether or not declarer has length in the suit. So, for instance, suppose that um, dummy had opened and declarer had been a heart as responder. You would know that they had at least four hearts. Again, there's only eight cards in a suit between all of, uh, excuse me, there's only 13 cards in a suit. So if I had the 10, the 7, the 6, and the 4 of hearts, and knew that Declare had 4 hearts, again, I'm the, in position that I'm the only one that might keep a small card in Declare's hand in hearts from becoming a trick. So I have to hold on to the hearts as well. That's an inferred parity. Um, these are visible. That's pretty easy. The ones that catch people are the inferred parity, where you have inferred that Declare has a long suit, either through the bidding, the way he's playing the hand out, what you know about the other suits that he holds, um, and then you have to um, deduct, deduce that you have to keep a heart. So, hope that helps. Hope you do well.